During the springtime, the lake northwest of Osuyus in British Columbia's Okanagan Valley seems to be some other pool of water. However, when the majority of the water evaporates in the summer, hundreds of large brackish puddles are left behind, creating a polka-dotted scenery of yellow, green, and blue dots. Spotted Lake, a salty endorheic alkaline lake, located northwest of Osuyus, in the Similkameen Valley region of British Columbia, Canada. Spotted Lake contains a high concentration of minerals. It has thick concentrations of magnesium sulfate, calcium sulfate, and sodium sulfate. It also has high quantities of eight additional minerals, as well as lesser proportions of silver and titanium. During the summer, the majority of the lake's water evaporates, exposing colorful mineral deposits. Magnesium sulfate, which crystallizes in the summer, contributes significantly to spotted color. During the summer, minerals in the lake solidify and build natural pavements, around as well as between spots. The vibrant pools are the consequence of a heavy proportion of mineral elements, including calcium, sodium sulfates, and magnesium sulfate. The minerals and salts have washed off from the neighboring slopes. The different bright colors are determined by the mineral content in each pool. The indigenous population of the Okanagan Nation have cherished Spotted Lake for generations. Spotted Lake, formerly known as Clilic by the First Nations, has been and continues to be venerated, as a holy location which was considered to offer healing waters for decades. They thought that each of the various circles possessed unique therapeutic and medicinal powers. Spotted Lake minerals were utilized in the manufacture of ammunition during World War I. Minerals from the lake have been utilized to make ammo during World War I. Laborers dug up to one ton of salt from the lake per day to extract the mineral deposits. According to the British Columbia Visitor Center, the lake showcased a more even larger variety of colors and an even higher aesthetic beauty, previous to the mineral mining. Subsequently, for approximately 40 years, the region was under the ownership of the Ernest Smith family. Smith sought to generate interest in a lakeside spa in 1979. In 2001, it was purchased for the benefit and use of the Okanagan Nation. The purchase assured that the property would be preserved and restored as a cultural and natural asset. The deal was made by acquiring 22 hectares of property for a total of $720,000, with the First Nations contributing around 20% of the price. The balance was paid for by the Indian Affairs Department. Visitors who wish to see the lake from a distance cannot approach too close. To safeguard the region, a fence has been constructed, along with a plaque stating that it is culturally and environmentally significant. However, there are several open spaces along the roadway upon which to glimpse the lake's famed polka dots. To this very day, the fence prevents anyone from strolling down from the roadway to the lake's beach. While traveling at high speeds, one can clearly see the lake. Many people pull over to the side of the road to have a closer look. A tiny sign informs tourists about the lake's healing properties at the gate of a road, leading to a residence near the lake. Spotted Lake is a sacred medicine lake as well as a Sias Okanagan people cultural heritage site. The significance of this sacred place cannot be taken for granted. The Sias Okanagan Nation supervises entry to the lake in order to preserve it for future generations. Those who wish to visit the lake should obtain permission from the Okanagan Nation Alliance. Late July is the ideal moment to see the lake just before pools completely dry out and water covers its spots. If you can't get permission to walk along the lake, you can drive roughly 6 miles west from Osuyus, and park on the side of the road to take a look. Spotted Lake is strange, but naturally occurring phenomenon, and if you get the chance to visit the lake, try to learn more about the lake's history, as well as the indigenous people's culture, and their relationship with the lake. If you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button.